Hello friends, my name is Tejan Jangit. Here I am discussing the uh, objective solution of PS Bimbra for induction uh, phase induction motor from question number 1 to question number 10. And next video is coming soon for the synchronous machine. So don't forget to subscribe ref, reference tech education. Now come to the question number 1. In three phase slip ring induction motor, three phase balance supply is given to the rotor and stator winding is short circuited. Then the rotor would be uh, not run, run in the direction of rotating field, run against the direction of rotating field, run at half the, half the synchronous speed. Now come to the solution. When this three phase supply is given to the uh, rotor of the three phase uh, rotor of the three phase induction motor through the slip ring and stator winding is short circuited. Now assume the slip S equals to 0 0.04 and frequency 50 hertz. Now this supply is given to the rotor of the induction motor. Slip ring induction motor. After giving this supply to the uh, rotor of the induction motor, uh, the rotor field is rotated at a 3000 RPM which will become from 120F upon P. Now due to slip, its stator rotating field is rotated at a 120 rpm which will become from 120 sf upon p now for the uh, for the synchronization in between the stator and rotor field for the synchronization in between the stator and rotor field rotor must rotate at a speed of 2880 rpm when rotor is rotated at this speed then the synchronization between the stator and rotor field is take place so and this rotor is must be rotated in opposite direction of the rotor uh, stat magnetic field rot magnet rot rotate in magnetic field so this is in a opposite direction so option c is correct run against the direction of rotating field now come to the question number two a three phase slip ring induction motor has four pole okay on a stator and two pole on rotor with its stator energized from 50 hertz supply the rotor would run at no load speed a option somewhat less than 1500 rpm somewhat less than 3000 rpm somewhat less than 2000 rpm and zero rpm now come to the solution this is the simple question uh, we make the four pole on the stator and two pole on the rotor this rotor pole this stator stator pole repel the rotor pole s and this pole attract s pole and this combination produce the torque in this direction and this s pole attract the rotor pole and this stator pole repel n pole of rotor pole rotor so and this combination make the torque in this direction both torque are opposite direction so total torque developed is zero so speed is 0 rpm so option d is correct now come to the question number three the effect of increasing the air gap length in three phase induction motor is to first statement our first statement is reduce the pulsation losses improve the power factor reduce the air gap flux worse the power factor reduce the torque increase the efficiency and the option are a b c d now come to the solution this is the flux air gap flux which is n phi n uh, n i m and relax uh, r l this i m is the magnetizing current and r l is the reluctance in air gap now if we increase the air gap in between the stator winding and rotor winding then the reluctance in between the winding is increased air gap reluctance is increased due to increase in reluctance flux is constant and magnetizing current will increase due to increase in magnetizing current this current uh, increase and increase increase up to the red point mark so due to this input power factor phi increase to phi days now taking the cosine of this angle then the power factor will decrease so power worse the power factor so the option 4 is correct okay now 
this the uh, this is the stator winding and this is the rotor winding where this is the link linkage flux that is mutual flux okay that is denoted by this okay and this is the leakage stator leakage flux and this is the rotor leakage flux when the air, air gap in between the stator and rotor winding is increased due to this stator and rotor leakage flux increase due to increase uh, leakage flux uh, uh, stator and rotor leakage flux leakage reactance is also increase so due to re increase in re leakage reactance torque will reduce okay torque will reduce so option 5 is also correct now come to the statement first <clears throat> reduction in pulsation losses first we know what are the pulsation losses these losses are due to the change in reluctance in between the stator winding and rotor winding so this is the l length in between the uh, teeth of stator and rotor and this is the 2l length now change in the length is 50 percent now if we increase the air gap okay then the change in length is 25 percent so the change in length is decrease so the pulsation losses are also reduced because pulsation losses are due to change in teeth of stator and rotor okay so the option are one four and five that is option a is correct now come to the question number four the rotor of the induction motor cannot run at a speed at a synchronous speed because if it did so then first statement rotor emf would be zero rotor current would be zero rotor torque would be zero rotor power factor would be unity stator core losses would be zero rotor core losses would be zero now the statement are a b c d which are correct now come to the solution now <clears throat> when the uh, when uh, when synchronous motor is rotated at a synchronous speed okay at synchronous speed slip of the induction motor is zero due to slip is zero the e2 e rotor emf e2 rotor emf will become zero because in this uh, e, e2 emf sf frequency uh, will produce the e2 emf so e2 is zero rotor emf will be zero now come to the uh, statement two rotor current now if the slip is zero then r2 by s that is infinite so due to this i2 will become zero now come to the question uh, statement number third when i2 is zero then torque will also zero okay now come to the rotor power factor when slip is zero then r2 upon r2 that is unity cos theta 2 is unity so power factor be unity so 4 is also correct now come to the uh, stator and rotor core losses now in the rotor uh, rotor frequency sf which is zero so the rotor core losses are due to the frequency change so the rotor core losses would be zero now stator core losses cannot be zero why because in stator we are continual uh, to supply continuous the supply of f frequency not s frequency there here the s slip is zero not a frequency is zero so stator core losses cannot be zero so the option one two three four six are correct one two one two three four one two three four six are correct b option is correct okay now come to the question number five a three phase square gauge induction motor has its stator has its stator rebound for six pole without any alteration in rotor okay the motor will now run at a speed this is the simple question now come to the solution uh, <clears throat> now 120 f upon p where put the value of 50 uh, vision in general we put put the value f equals to fears and pole six okay then it will become 1000 rpm and the rotary speed is always less than the synchronous speed due to slip so the option is uh, a is correct 
now come to the question number 6 a three phase square gauge induction motor designed